Hey guys, it is Tyler here once again with another video talking about the newly announced, finally I told you so, Fable. Yes, I'm a few weeks late, but here we are, we're going to talk about it and the fact that it is not an MMO. I know I've been gone for a second, uh, sorry about that, I've been building my new YouTube setup, I've got a new PC, a whole new desk, lights, monitors, microphone recently, new camera, gimbal, lens, I'll show you videos, it'll be up here so you can see the setup, it's awesome. Uh, and I'm loving it, so I'm just sort of getting used to it with new editing software, new recording software, new everything. I've been um, on a Mac laptop for the last couple years making all my content and doing podcasts, and now I've got this beautiful new setup here, and I'm um, just getting the hang of it. Next thing to come is streaming very soon. I need to sort that out, but as you know, crazy times. Uh, and if you're new to the channel and you're like, oh, this guy is going to talk about Fable, I also cover Horizon... Forbidden West, or Horizon Zero, on the Horizon series, Assassin's Creed, and of course, I will be covering this Fable game with news updates, theory videos, all that sort of speculation stuff on this channel leading up to the game's release, plus of course covering it once it releases. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with Fable news. Alright, so like I said, this was announced weeks ago, and I've wanted to talk about it since then. I just haven't had the chance to make a damn video. So we're going to talk about it. Fable was officially announced at a Microsoft event a few weeks ago covering the Xbox Series X and its first party games. Fable was revealed to be a release for the Xbox Series X and Windows 10. We don't have a release date. We don't know a whole lot other than it is being developed by Playground Games and will be sort of ish a reboot to the fable franchise i guess now one major thing that came out of that press event was that fable was an mmo and not a single player action rpg now these rumors speculated online on the twitterverse for one of the xbox insiders that knew and predicted quite a few things at the event and that ran rampant and that was just a disaster of news for myself to hear as a long time fable fan and wanting this franchise to return to its highest highs but that has since been debunked by several insiders in Xbox and industry personnel saying that no, 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 this is not an MMO. Fable is a single player action RPG, though there may very well be online features. So you can look to Forza Horizon 4 perhaps, or the previous Fable games for what sort of online interactions you may have while playing this new Fable. Now I've been calling it Fable 4 and speculating it as Fable 4 for several years now, since early 2018 when the first sort of rumours that Playground Games were working on a Fable game arose. I even did a video on, I've done several videos on it in fact, talking about how this game was all but confirmed and now it isn't all but confirmed, it is confirmed and I'm so god damn happy about it. There's so much good stuff from this trailer, yes it was less than a minute long, but we can infer quite a few things that we want to see. Now, the first thing to get out of the way is that it's not an MMO. We've had enough sources saying that it's not an MMO that I believe it, plus the fact we've never heard anything about a Fable game being an MMO leading up to this, whereas we've heard action RPG single player game several times in the lead up in rumors and speculations over the past 18 months. In fact, there was a job listing in 2018 for Microsoft and Playground Games to work on a single player action RPG similar to quote unquote Horizon Zero Dawn. So I don't think that's going to make an MMO fable if that's the type of game you're trying to make. So that's super exciting that that rumor is probably not true, but I mean... You never know what's going to happen, especially after that Microsoft event. You just don't know anymore, do you? So, assuming Fable is an action RPG single-player game, there's a lot of exciting things to look at when it comes to this game. Now, assuming also it's a reboot, so the previous games maybe didn't happen, but it's the same universe, or they sort of set it in a whole new era, I'm not really sure. The thing is, we did see Bowerstone. In this trailer. The Castle Fairfax looked very familiar to us. It appears in Fable 2 and 3. The thing was it looked a bit more done up than we've ever seen it in let's say Fable 2 and 3 but at the same time didn't have the industrial age stuff that we saw 
in Fable 3. So, is it between 2 and 3? I doubt it. Is it in a whole new world and setting and time altogether? I'd probably infer that as well. So, perhaps it's set in between Fable 1 and 2, or in a completely new space, but Bowerstone still exists and is done up in its own new and rebooted way, which is really cool. One other important factor of Fable is the fact it has this unique slapstick, funny as hell British humour to it, and it's a light-hearted game, and it still seems like that's the case. In this trailer, of course, you see this dramatic narration going on and this pixie fairy thing flying through a forest, and then, of course, Frog eats her, and it's funny. The whole trailer reminds me of the opening to Fable 2 where you see a bird flying all through Albion all the way to Bowerstone and then shitting on our main protagonist's head to introduce us to our character we'll be playing as. That's what this felt like, that sort of light-hearted British humour to the world of Albion that makes it so unique and so fun. Another important feature and the thing I love most about Fable is its deep magical lore to it. And when I look back at Fable 1, of course, you have the Guild of Heroes. And we see the Guild Seal on the edge of a sword in the opening to this trailer. That's how you knew straight away, one, holy crap, we're watching a Fable trailer. Fable's happening. It's confirmed. Playground Games are doing it. That's really exciting. I like the approach Microsoft are taking with this. Of course, Lionhead Studios, who originally developed and created Fable, are no longer in existence, but Playground Games are a team that I believe can bring a whole new unique element to it and in my opinion are probably a more experienced and better studio overall. It's not something they've done before, but I think that's why it's going to be good and you look to Gorilla who were making Killzone and then moved on to Horizon Zero Dawn as an example of how a studio can change a total style of game that they're making and doing really well and then doing something completely different and actually doing it way better than they've ever done a game before and I hope that that's the case here. I'm hoping that lightning strikes twice this time for Team Xbox rather than Sony with Horizon and that Fable can be in its own way an amazing first party title and reboot the franchise, bring it to its highest high and really stand on its own. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the newly announced Fable from this trailer. There's not a lot to take from it. I'm going to be doing plenty of coverage for this Fable game leading up to its release. I don't expect it to come out until at the earliest, the end of 2021. And even then, I don't think so. I'd say 2022 at the earliest. We will see Fable released. But I'm sure there's going to be plenty of trailers and lots of news to cover in those couple of years leading up to the release of the game and I'll be right here for it giving you updates as well as speculating and doing discussions on my podcast as well so go check out my podcast if you haven't uh, it's on my channel as always podcast and uh, yeah that's it from me ladies and gentlemen be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things Fable Horizon Forbidden West and I also do Assassin's Creed videos as well as most of you know me for Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.